Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel once again. In this video, we are going to learn about Verisigward. As we already know, it is a new drug which has been approved for heart failure. And uh, the drug looks promising. In this video, we are going to learn about mechanism of action, its side effect, its doses and cautions that has to be taken. So now, let us begin with mechanism of action of Verisigward. But before that, we should know something about this molecule that is cyclic GMP. This cyclic GMP increases phosphokinase G which causes cellular hyperpolarization and cardiac muscle relaxation. So by this action cyclic GMP causes vasodilation and decreases blood pressure. Along with this it has other important functions like it has anti remodeling effect, it has anti apoptotic effect, it has anti inflammatory effect and it inhibits platelet aggregation. And by all this action, it actually has a very important function of tissue protection. Now, along with cyclic GMP, we also should know about gonalate cyclase receptor. It exists in two forms, transmembrane receptor and soluble gonalate cyclase receptor. The nitriuretic peptide acts via this transmembrane receptor and nitric oxide acts via this soluble gonalate cyclase receptor. And both of them convert G GTP to cyclic GMP. I think now this is making sense because as we already know cyclic GMP is very important and now we know that how cyclic GMP is formed. Before we understand what Verisigward has to do with all these things, we need to understand one more thing that is pathophysiology of heart failure. So basically in heart failure there is decrease in this phosphokinase G, remember just now we read and this decrease in phosphokinase G causes increases stiffness that is increases cardiac muscle stiffness. Also in heart failure there is increase in endogenous reactive oxygen species which causes decrease in nitric oxide. Remember nitric oxide it is important for formation of cyclic GMP and remember cyclic GMP it has all these important functions which causes tissue protection. And hence in heart failure we can say because of decrease in this phosphokinase G there is increased stiffness and because of decrease in nitric oxide there is loss of this tissue protection function. Now coming to the mechanism of action of various reward, basically it stimulates this soluble gonalase cyclase irrespective and independent of nitric oxide. So it directly stimulates this soluble gonalase cyclase and converts the GTP into cyclic GMP. And then cyclic GMP is uh, able to perform its function like tissue protection. And uh, by this mechanism, Verisigward is useful to decrease the risk of heart failure. Now let us understand the root of administration. Basically, Verisigward uh, comes in tablet form. Uh, it has three type of doses, 2.5 mg, 5 mg and 10 mg. The initial dose is 2.5 mg per day. And it can be increased to 10 mg per day if it is well tolerated. It is advised to give the drug with food as food increases bioavailability. Regarding doses modification in renal impairment, if the GFR is above 15 and patient is not on dialysis, it can be safely used. But if the GFR is below 15 or patient is on dialysis, the efficacy of the drug has not been studied yet. Similarly, in hepatic impairment, if the patient is in childhood A or B grading that is the patient has mild or moderate disease then it can be used but its effect in more severe disease has not been studied yet. There are two important side effect of this drug that is hypotension and anemia. Now the drug comes with a black box warning that is it may cause fetal harm and it should not be used in a female who is pregnant. So before starting the drug if the patient is young and in reproductive age you should always rule out pregnancy. Now some other cautions, do not uh, administer this drug with soluble gonalase cyclase stimulators and phosphodiesterase 5 inhibitors and uh, hence it is contraindicated with avanafil, riosiguat, uh, sildenafil, tadalafil and verdenafil and all the other drugs that comes under this category. So that is it for the video guys, hope you like the video and uh, for more such videos please do hit the subscribe button and see you in the next video.